Well, if you're out and about around the town late tonight, you better have a jacket or a coat on because it's going to be pretty cold for the rest of your Tuesday night out there. A chilly stretch of weather, especially in the early mornings. That does bring the potential for a couple snowflakes out there for the next few hours, but they're not going to be very heavy at all. We're not expecting accumulation out of this. We will rebound to those temperatures later on in the week, eventually near 60 degrees and dry outside. Beautiful weather, in fact, for the month of November coming up and a nice weekend, just like I talked about. A few chances for light rain there. The bigger rain opportunity comes into next week. Here's a look at what we're dealing with right now. You can really see a changeover from rain to potentially light snow showers into parts of our northern counties right now. Again, just a few flakes. We're not going to be expecting any particular accumulation out of this unless you're on a westward facing mountain. But Wood County, just south of Parkinsburg, good opportunity for a snow shower there and even a mix of rain and snow into Mason County just to the west of Ripley here after it passed through US 35. So this is all with a weak disturbance that's been coming out of Canada. It's moisture starved, but there is just enough water vapor in the air to allow for a snow shower to form as low pressure continues to slide its way eastward across our region. But it will not last very long into your Wednesday tomorrow. The key factor, though, will get some additional northerly winds. So a light breeze tomorrow quickly passing through. Not all that bad, though, by the afternoon. Those winds will calm down. But that does have another consideration here to talk about. So we'll watch these showers make their way into the eastern mountains. Again, no real accumulation from them. But in the next few hours, our temperatures are going to drop quite a bit. In fact, how does 29 sound for a morning low tomorrow on your Wednesday? Pretty cold. That's why we have those freeze warnings in effect for our southern counties. Bring those plants inside. Once again, I've been saying it all week. Plenty of sunshine, though, by 9 a.m. And those skies really start to clear into the afternoon, only getting up into the 40s for the first day of November. So unseasonably cool. I'd like it to be warmer. Unfortunately, you have to wait a couple more days for that to happen. Calm winds, clear skies, not a lot of moisture in the air once again. Allows those temperatures to plummet heading into your Thursday. Below freezing once again, I think we'll be in the 20s easily to start off Thursday, but the afternoon will be a quicker warm up near 50 degrees and still remaining dry out there on the pattern. So at the school bus stop tomorrow morning, the kids are definitely going to need a heavy coat. 28 frosty conditions and frigid out there improving by the afternoon, though. The good thing, plenty of sunshine out there as well in the forecast. So the rest of the week looks good. Friday, a nice day, perhaps near 60 degrees and same for Saturday. But as we head into Sunday, there are some differences of opinion on what's going to happen. Our American model shows some showers staying to our north during the day. The European projection could put a spotty shower in some of our northern counties for the day. However, not a washout. I wouldn't cancel your plans for the weekend. And next chance of rain still quite a while from now. After that, Tuesday, we'll see another drop in temperatures after this brief spell of warm weather.